What's going on down here? You drunk? You shouting your head off. You gone mad? Prancing about in the middle of the night, shouting your head off. What are you, Ravy lunatic? I was thinking aloud. Were you shouting at Joey? Didn't you just hear what I said, Dad? I said I was thinking aloud. You were thinking out so loud you got me out of bed. Uh, why don't you just pop off, eh? Pop off? You wake me up in the middle of the night. I'll come down here. Yeah? I think we've got burglars and knife stuck in here. You tell me to pop off? You was talking to someone. Do not be so selfish as to keep a good joke to yourself. Tell the others. Oh, Lord. Uh, hello, Mrs. Crocker Harris. Oh, hi, Billy. <laughs> we were just having a little social tutorial. Yes. Social, social tutorial. tutorial. Yes. Your Honour, it's been a long time. Not long enough. What's the matter? I remember that um, little party that I met you at in Amsterdam. <laughs> Hard to prove. Photos can be doctored these days, Jack. Not if you've got the negatives. What did you want? Martini, please. I'll be attending Margaret's annual alphabet fancy dress party tomorrow. Oh, what's the theme? It's uh, a pea party. One must dress as something beginning with P. Yeah, the only downside is Margaret still has that god awful little place in Cheney Wall. this very modern venue to welcome young people into the fold and to encourage our youth to uphold the levels of decency as the moral crusaders of our future is a decent farm in Southland with 5,000 sheep on it cat now oh. <laughs> jolly good costumes <laughs> thanks mate <laughs> Don't turn around, get in the car. Who are you? Tell us where Jack McClarkey lives. Hmm. I'd be delighted to give you Jack's address, ladies. Hmm. How did he trick those two women out of their property? The women thought they were signing lifetime guarantees for a new vacuum cleaner, which he'd bought for them. Bastard! I couldn't agree more, ladies. Oh, well, thanks, mate. <laughs> Pull yourself together, will you, and drive on? Mm -hmm.